Five signs not to give up on that relationship. Relationships are not always perfect. It becomes perfect from the way we handle it. Every relationship you see and admire today as a model was not always rosy as you perceive it. There were days they felt like quitting, but kept pushing together till they got where they are now, at the level in which you admire them. Relationships are a learning ground. It is just like the marriage institution that is referred to as an institution you never graduate. In a relationship with God, we sometimes err, disobey and go astray, but when we come back, He still accepts us and we continue the journey. This is how our earthly relationship should be and how we should have it. There would be times you feel like to let go. There would be a time you feel like it was a mistake. There would be times you feel like you are wasting your time and you should walk away. There would be times you feel like there is no use and gain in it. Times when it would be like you never should have started, but you endured it all and are here now. You must remember that you started with God. He approved of it, and since He has not told you to quit, you must learn to endure it to the end. You need to realize that the devil is out to put asunder and ruin whatever he perceives is good and is from God. The devil would look for ways to plant issues in the relationship, and it would take understanding not to give up on what God has called you into. It is not an easy journey. Remember, Christ told us that the way to heaven is narrow, while the way to hell is wide. This is how it is with model relationships. You learn a lot in relationships. You would be drilled, tested, and what God wants from you is not to break up or end it now, but to be strong and come out a winner and a champion. It is not a journey or movement of few days, but a journey to spend your lives together. Everything will be okay at the end of the day. Be patient and let God build the love between you and your partner. Your relationship would give glory to God and men would learn from your relationship. You are getting to the point where God wants you to be with your partner. Just leave it in the hands of God. As wonderful as it is to be with someone you have always loved, the flip side is that you run the risk of someday coming apart. In the era of divorce, untrue love, and instant gratification, it can sometimes be tough to determine when a relationship is headed for the end. To get a great relationship, to get something perfect per se, you have to be willing to put in the work. You took time to search and found love. It is too hasty to give up. It may seem good to give up and walk away, but what then have you gained or what would be your story? When it gets hard, it is the time to draw strength from God and keep the relationship going. These are five signs not to give up on that relationship. You got the direction from God. God did not bring you two together to break up halfway. It can never be God's intention for you. He knows your ending from your beginning and so will always give you the best. When God starts a thing, He takes it to perfect completion. He carries it to the end. God chose to bring you together. He is not the author of confusion, and He does not glory in divorce and breakups and would want you and your partner to endure the trying times together, to finish and come out stronger together. Whatever God does is good. The relationship He gave you is good. The partner He gave you is good. He gave you the best because He knows your end from your beginning and so he can never give you a partner that will not be right for you. He has given you a great relationship and you must keep pressing and give it your best. He has done his part. Your part is to give in your best with the intention of having a great and successful relationship. What you need to do is to focus on the message and assignment he has given to you and your partner. The devil is out to destroy you. You must be watchful of your actions. Marriage and relationship were instituted by God and the devil wants to pass a message that is not good for men and women to come together in a holy union and as such would deploy every means to make it fail. But you must not give him victory in your relationship. It must stand to give God glory. God spoke to you about it. 
It was confirmed by many, and your inward witness affirmed it. Why then do you want to call it off now? No good thing comes easy. There must be labor, days of endurance. That is how victory can be achieved. You are in the perfect walk and would come through together victorious. You have been made better together through it. You have not seen the end and therefore, whatever be the difficulties or the misunderstandings you are facing now, let it slide. It should not determine your future. You and your partner have been made better off from the relationship and that is the purpose of the union, to be made better than you met. Look beyond the pains now, consider the gains and consider what you stand to gain from being together. Do not throw away the times, love, experiences shared in the union because of some misunderstanding the devil is using to try to destroy the relationship God has ordained. You need to keep together with your partner. A lot still lies ahead between the both of you, more value to be exploited and unveiled together. Why stop halfway? Do not give up on that relationship. Do not let your partner walk away. Do not put a stop to this good thing that God has done. You have not been stagnant. You have not been devalued, but have appreciated on every side. And as such, you have to patch things up and flow together. More gains would be received by your union. You still want to be together. Your decision as concerning the relationship is very important. No matter the issue you are having, what you desire is very important. Do not listen to the devil telling you to break up and walk away, especially if you still love this person. When you do not believe in the relationship again, it would be hard to sustain it. Your belief and confession gives life to it. If you still admire and value your partner, there is no point in going your separate ways. Do not close your heart to love. Keep nursing and watering it. No matter how a son offends the parent, they would still love and want their son to come back. Apologize and continue with them and that is the type of feeling you are having. It is not a feeling to break up. You have been hurt. You have been offended. You feel bad. Create the room. Sit and talk over it with your partner. The love is still there and as such, do not give up on the relationship. Settle and give it time to heal, no matter how we hurt God. He still forgives us and welcomes us back with his hands open. This is what you should also do with your partner. Keep your arms open. This is what love is. Love is believing in your beloved and always forgiving without having animosity. Do not give up on your relationship. You still have a future together. The goal of every reasonable relationship is to end together. You still see the future in the relationship. There is still more to be achieved together with your partner and because of these plans and positive intentions, you do not need to give up now on your relationship. Keep it together for the future gains. Consider your future with your partner and what you stand to lose when you give up because your partner is God's choice for you. God endured the cross and all the sufferings for your sake. Hold on to the future. There are great things you stand to gain together. Do not give up now. Sort out every issue and believe in the God that called you together and your future would be great together. You must not let the love God gave to you go sideways. God is not a quitter. Even when we offend and go astray, do not give up on your relationship. God is involved and you would have the best from it.